What's up everybody? Sparewood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, when we left off, we tried to hook this thing up, which it didn't do as horrible as I thought it would, but um, it was pointed out to me in the last episode very accurately that these legs are not going to work where they are. Um, so we're going to have to move those, but it gave me an idea. Um, one of the things was, it was mentioned to use struts, the, um, or girder segments, or I guess that's what they're called. I thought they were struts. I call them struts. I guess these are supposed to be struts, but whatever. Um, so it was talk like using the girder sections, kind of like this, like that type of thing. I don't know why they're not snapping there. Ooh, you know what you could do? You could actually use these. Something like that. Um, but it gave me the idea. Now, this is the only important part, really. It gave me the idea to just use another set of fuel tanks, but this does add a lot more mass. But I think I'm willing to risk it. So we'll make the fuel tanks a little bit longer. And then what we'll do here is we'll basically just push, push? No, not push. We're not pushing anything. Put, is the word I was looking for, a leg kind of on each thing. So it's about it's about two little clicks away. You know, one, two. It's about two two of them. And I think I'm gonna go around each one. And then what I'll probably do, because I was thinking about this a little bit today, like how am I gonna do this? I think what we'll do then is um basically just add more struts and stuff to the center to make sure it doesn't dip down. It's kind of the biggest thing that I'm concerned about at this point is that it'll kind of fall over. So I want to make sure this is good and secure and not going... Oh. What? Um, I don't know what just happened. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll move this over. Ooh, let's do a crisscross. There we go. Um, actually, that's not crisscrossing. There we go. Why did it only do it on those two? Well, that's weird. Okay, maybe we won't use these, because that seems to make it do strange things. Um, so yeah, I think that might work a bit better. How did I have these set up before? Solar panels, sciencey stuff. Okay, so this is the three is the landing gears, four isn't anything, I guess. lower. We'll just go all the way around. That should be all of them. Okay. So that part's kind of done. Uh, tell you what we'll do. Let's go ahead and de I'm going to go ahead and deploy them all, and then we're going to test it and see how it does. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm no expert, but this seems a lot more stable. It's not wobbling, not doing anything. Even with my SAS, I'm not getting it to move around. So that's good. It's good. 
Good, good, good. Um, the one thing we may want to do, now that I'm looking at it, is maybe add like a couple RCS tanks around here with some little controllers. Let's tr let's do that. Okay, back in the lab. Um, what is? It's under control, right? No, that's the thrusters. Where's the? Where's the RCS jets? Or fuel? Is it under propulsion? I didn't think it was. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Okay, so we have 50, 100, 150, 40, and then these are liquid fuel. So the biggest is 100. Oh no, biggest is 150, okay. Um, what do we have here? This? Yeah. Okay, so, what I'm thinking... Something like this. So that's about 150 per jet, and then we'll put one here. That'll give us up, down, left, and right. But it won't do horizontal. Okay, can we... I believe monopropellant works like... I don't think they have to be connected, per se. Actually, no, I got a better idea. Even if they do have to be connected, let's put them down here. Right? That'll work, right? Sure. Whatever. I just need it for control. That's all. Um, okay, so let's save that. Now we can retract these because they won't need to be up when we're flying. Come on. These are very finicky to let you select them for some reason. There we go. Save that out. Okay, now we get to the really fun part, and that's where we get to build the rocket that'll actually carry this sucker up into space, which is always fun for me. I always end up, and I'm saying that very um, sarcastically, it's mostly just because it never ends up, like, it, I always have this weight to thrust problem where I either have enough thrust and not enough fuel, or, um, oh, I didn't know Hearthstone was on Steam. Adrian's playing Hearthstone. I thought that was only a, um, like a separate launcher. Whatever. Um, okay, so where's the bigger adapter? Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Um, bu 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 bu. Now this should work. So we've got to make it to Moho. You know what? I think two should be enough. And I want to try something. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this madness here? Alright, let me, let me make, it's always easier for me to go as I go. Okay, I put these up here because I probably won't even use them. Parachutes, decouplers for all those. Okay, the thrusters should be there. Then we're gonna jettison those, then we're gonna parachute. Okay, so that's all, that's all accurate. Good, good, good. And then that's the drop point, okay. So... One of the things that I never really thought about trying, but I kind of want to try it now, is actually using, like, the fuel fuel lines. Um, 
in ways where it's like you only have one stack, but then do like multiple thrusters. I, I've always wondered if that would work, so I think I might actually try it this time. Just because, you know, you don't always want to do the same thing. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I know some of you are probably freaking out right now just being like, that is a lot of stacks for for what I'm trying to do here. Wait a minute. Why did you go down there? No. You go down here. Okay, now... Structural. Radial. Now we get to the part where I have no honest to goodness idea if it'll work or not. You can do this. No, I don't think you can. Um, let's do. Let's let's step up our game and do like structural. Wait, no, that's not. That's not gonna work. Okay, like that. Now can I put? Wait a minute. It did it a second. It keeps flickering, and it's like trying to do what I want it to do, but it's not doing it at all. Okay, you guys are gonna love this one, because this is going to make zero sense at all. Wait, no. <laughs> That's not what I needed. Okay. I want it to be as structurally sound as possible, but that's probably a long shot. I think we're gonna need to do one more. This, honestly, is kind of a, let's... Why? Why won't that work? You weird thing, you. This is honestly one of those things that's like, let's see how derpy I can make this ship, and then let's see if it actually can get off the ground. That's kind of what I'm doing here. Like, it started with these up here. I've had comments that were like, why are the atomic things that high, and what's going on? And I kind of just somewhere along the way just said, screw it, I don't care. I want to see if we can actually make this a thing. Um. Okay, so that, <laughs> like I said, refer back to comment number one here. We're going to see how weird we can make this ship. Boom, look at that. Now what I'm going to do is grab this and just drag it down. I can't tell if that's flush or not. That's close enough. And it put all of them up in this Why? So I have no idea if this will work. I really don't. Like, I would kind of be amazed, blown away, all that stuff if I ended up getting comments where it's like, no, no, this is actually a good idea, because this does not look like a good idea to me. This looks like me derping around and just seeing if things will burn and die, or if it will actually fly. Hey, that's a rhyme. Will this burn and die, or will it really fly? Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, man. It's like all this, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just see if it'll work. See, this honestly looks like in real life it would cause all of these to torque up to the right like this and just fall over, but it's a good thing that it's a game and it doesn't always do that kind of stuff. Because if it was that accurate, I would just be royally screwed. Okay, now let's tie into this, shall we? Then let's tie these up here, so we get a nice structure point going. Um, oh, and then let's put a couple between each one of these. There we go. That should help. And then let's grab... A lower one and put it like that. <laughs> uh, 
Um. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if this would work or not. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is a test to see if it works. Then, if it works, we'll actually try and fly it. Okay, so one problem I already see, it doesn't look like it's a big issue at the moment, but I want to fix it, is there's nothing tying this part into the tower here. Um, I need to throw some struts down there to connect it, because this is all kind of hanging out over the side, which will probably make it wobbly. And I need to put some RCS tank stuff down here so that it can also turn this way. Um, screw it. Yep! Yep, yep, yep. Look at that go. Woo! Let's see, I, I'm just, I'm curious now. Can we actually get it to flip over and get some more altitude again? Come on, come on. <laughs> I love just derping around on this sometimes. Um. The only other problem is I really don't know what's causing it to do that other than if it was just wobbly when we started. Because it's kind of, like, you can see the top there, it's just kind of like... Wah, wah. So let's figure that out. Okay. Another idea that I had... Is... I mean, we have eight up here, right? Or six? It's the same... Oh, we don't. Well, we do, but we don't. It's the same idea, or same number, just in a different pattern. Fudge sickles. Okay, well, let's get this taken care of, and then I'll try that. I wanted to see if I can run struts all the way up to um, the top here, or not. That should help a little bit. And then uh, let's see if we can't do something like that. There we go. That should help. It. I suppose it could just be wobbly in the center, too. That might be the problem. Okay, let's do one like this. I don't think it'll go this high. No. Where does it end? So it ends like there. How do I... Stop it. Stop it. I don't... No, crap. I don't... What is it doing? What the crap? I just wanted to get rid of that one strut. And it kept trying to place things. Undo that. What is it doing? There we go. Don't break stuff. Wait. What the... Sometimes I have to remind myself this game's an alpha. Because <laughs> it's actually really good for what it has done, but there's just some things that behave really strange. Like when you just want to click on one little strut thing, and it keeps blowing up the world. Um... Okay. So, it's probably just the fault of the design, I would say. But... Is there a way that I can put one of these here without destroying everything? I feel like that's going to cause problems. And this really won't do a whole lot. So, let's just save it and try again. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how... Oh, I didn't put the RCS down there, and it still looks wobbly. Dang it. Nope, still tipping over. I don't really know... This is another one of those things like I had before, where it's always going the same direction, and I don't really know why. Um, Nothing seems to be touching anything. Oh, we're just going face down. Woo! Right into the ground. No, we won't do that. Um, well, actually... 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to end the episode here, actually, because we're probably close to, or if not, about out of time. Um, so for all the, you know, astronomical, calculating physics people out there, um, if there's something in the build, I'm sure there's a lot of problems in it, but if there's something that speaks to the stability and why it keeps flipping in the one direction uh, that caught your eye, do let me know in the comments. And in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!